So I'm going to rebuild the long injector cylinder or the upper injector cylinder. The reason I've chosen this cylinder is because uh, it's the one you're most likely going to be rebuilding. It, it takes the most abuse and it's uh, from experience it's the one we rebuild the most. So first thing you're going to do, grab a pipe wrench, loosen off the end cap on the cylinder. I just crack it loose and then I, then I have a uh, end cap remover tool. Take the, tool, the cap off the rest of the way. Once that's loose, you pull the rod right out of the barrel. We'll just set this rod on some clean, clean shop towels. Then we'll pull the barrel out of the lace and set it aside. We'll grab the uh, grab the cylinder rod, clamp it in the vise on the bushing, not on the rod, because you'll score up the rod. Get it good and tight. Next, uh, there's a set screw. In the uh, in the piston. Now we're gonna have to heat this up to remove this uh, side screw because it's been put on with red Loctite. So first we'll peel this seal off the uh, the piston and set it aside. And I'll just use a torch. We'll get a torch on here apply some heat. We don't have to make it red hot, we just have to make it hot enough to melt the red Loctite inside the uh, inside the piston. We'll try that. So that's going to be Warm. Yeah, that, that uh, was warm enough just to loosen off the red lactate. We'll pull this set screw out and uh, everything's going to be fairly warm here so let's we'll set that aside. Next, uh, you're going to pull the piston off the shaft and uh, we've actually fabricated a tool to do that. It's got a bushing with a hole in the side. We drop a, a little pin in and then... Uh, and then you don't want to really use a uh, pipe wrench on this. So once it's loose, we'll pull the, pull the tool off, set it aside. Grab a rag, so it's a little warm. We'll just loosen this, uh, take this piston right off the end. Set it aside. Next, I just take a rag, clean off the shaft and then the end cap can pull it off. And that's a part. So to rebuild the cylinder, first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to want to pull all the seals off of everything that we're replacing seals. So we've already taken the piston seal off the piston ring. So that's done. Next, uh, we want to pull the seals off the end cap. First ones you can pull off. I have an O-ring remover tool. So we'll pull off the two seals on the outside of the cap. We'll just set them aside. Uh, the inside ones here are a little tricky. So that one just peels out. And then there's one inside here as well. And this one, this one's the hardest one to change. Just the nature of it in any seal um, cylinder. The uh, smaller cylinder, the harder it is to change that seal. That's a two-piece seal, so there's an O-ring inside the seal. We'll get that to later on uh, when we're rebuilding the cylinder. So now that we have all the seals out, we want to clean up everything again. Um, either shop towel or compressed air. I always wipe everything down with shop towel and then take compressed air to it as well. There's a bit of a Loctite residue hardened in the uh, piston. So I'm going to just scratch that off before I rebuild it. So I clean her up real good. And then I have compressed air right handy on my bench, so I'll just blow out. Blow out this piston, put it somewhere clean, 
blow off the end cap. Blew out the end cap. I'll just blow off this as well. So, and then I'll just give it another wipe. And then I always, I'll just reuse the seals that come out of here. Um, if you were rebuilding it because it was a used cylinder, you'd get a new seal kit for the cylinder and use all brand new seals. But since this is a brand new cylinder, we'll put the seals right back in. Uh, for, we'll get started here. First one we want to put in is the, uh, the uh, seal for the end cap. Um, there's two seals that go on the outside. One's a big round O-ring and one's a flat square looking, um, basically a washer looking seal. And that's a backup seal and this is a primary seal. So the first one you want to put up is the backup seal. And it just pops on like so. It's a pretty relatively easy seal to put on. Next one is the uh, primary seal. And it goes on in front of the backup seal. So you just peel it around. So that's done. Next one you want to put in is this two piece uh, rod seal. Uh, and it's two piece. If you have it in your hand you can really seal it. But there's a... There's a O-ring kind of pressed in this, in this uh, seal, and that has to go down away from the end cap, so towards the center of the, the cylinder. Um, and it is a little tricky to get in. If you get one side started and work it in, it seems to work best. Um, sometimes you fight with them for a number of minutes, and sometimes you get lucky. So that one's in, went relatively good. Next one would be the uh, outer seal on that end cap. Again, I'm just cleaning off any, any excess dust. Uh, and it has a lip protruding out the outside. This one actually has red paint on because it was put in before the cylinder was painted, so I know which way it's out. But uh, it's relatively easy to tell the uh, lip has to go out. And you just pop it in the remaining groove. Again, this, this tool is a lifesaver. Um, you can go at it with a flat screwdriver or a pick, but you end up doing damage to a seal using tools like that. So now we have the seals back in the end cap. What we want to do, again, clean her off. I'll take compressed air to it. And then uh, I always oil the seals before I put them back together. So just pail of oil, oil up the seals. And pop it on the pop it on the rod, just like that. Get it out of the way. Next, you want to do is um, we'll go ahead and put the seal on this on this piston. So push, put it on the cushion. Slide it all the way back. And grab my O-ring kit tool and peel it around. Get it started, and then just work it all the way around. Um, one thing that you'll notice will happen is that seal will turn inside out on you, which isn't a big deal. You just uh, just spin it. So here we've uh, it's on right. That's easy to tell if, if there was an O-ring sticking out. Um, you just pull it off, put it back on again, make sure nothing was wrecked. Um, next thing you want to hit the threads of the, both the rod and the piston with Loctite primer. What this does is it cleans as well as pr provides a primer for the Loctite so it acts as a hardener. So we'll add a bit of that to the threads as well in the piston. And uh, you wait 15 minutes to cure, to allow this to cure. So I always clean the, uh, the rod off and then take a short break, come back and then we'll apply red Loctite to the threads and put it back together. So getting back to it here. Uh, it's Loctite 272 thread locker, high temperature, high strength Loctite. Um, that means it can, it can withstand a fair amount of heat without loosening off. So we'll apply a, a bead liberally to the, uh, the threads. I go all the way around on the rod as well as one bead onto the, onto the threads of the piston. Once that's done, thread it on, let's get it started. Crank her tight. Tighten it up by hand and then I'll use my prefab tool to tighten it up all the way. Just lift 
that up. So we'll grab that kind of on the wrong side here, but um, that's, that's good and tight. Once that red lock tight tightens up, it's never going to loosen off. Next, grab a, grab a clean rag, clean everything off again. And uh, I actually compressed air another time. And I had some red Loctite come out of the uh, set screw hole, so I'm going to clean that off again. There's a, there's a countersunk hole drilled in the threads of the rod inside this, uh, inside this uh, hole for the set screw. So what we'll do is you take your set screw. This one's got a bit of dirt on it, so I'm going to clean it as well. Add some Loctite to the set screw. If, uh, if this hole wasn't there, you'd, you'd have to drill it. So a 3 16 drill bit and drill in about a 30 second of an inch, just down through the, through the hole on the piston and drilling into the threads on the, on the rod. But it's already there, so I'll skip that step. So we got Loctite on the set screw as well as in there. So we'll tighten that up. Um, rule of thumb when you're tightening up a set screw, you tighten it up three times because what it'll do is it'll pit a little more into the material you're tightening up against every time you tighten it. So third time, good and snug, and that's tight. Next, again, clean. You can't be clean enough when you're working with hydraulics. So we'll pull the rod out of the vise, set on the rags. We'll put the uh, barrel back in to the vise, clamping on the bushing nice and tight um, I always check to make sure that the barrel isn't scored uh, before reassembling it um, if you had score marks on the piston you could you would have to check the seal or the barrel um, this one's brand new I know it's not scored but I'm looking anyways uh, if it is scored you either have to hone it out and rebuild it we often just replace them by the time you you waste uh, rebuilding the cylinder with honing and that you're better off just replacing it so we'll give it one final cleaning and we'll get oil we'll put oil on the seals of the of the piston get it started just have to slide it in slide the end cap up against I always oil the end cap seals as well get it up against next blue Loctite on the on the threads of the end cap uh, don't need a whole lot that'll work uh, we'll grab our end cap remover tool and I'll, I'll make it as tight as I can with this tool good Let's grab a pipe wrench Tighten up the end cap. Clean it off. Slide her in, and you're rebuilt.